What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Uh, this is... I'm, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm Nicole. Sorry. You're Aaron. I'm Nicole. This is Dude That's Fucked Up. We're already laughing because... <laughs> God, I wish you guys could see Nicole's hair right now. Maybe I'll take a picture. Uh, mm. But like. <laughs> Dude, you guys. I have this Ugh. fucking like long ass Eddie Munster. It's, but it's like. <laughs> I'm making. No, no. It's like Go a ahead. used car sale. <laughs> it got so much shinier because you got it so much more greasy. I have like. A bang, but it's like coming from the side and it's like so greasy because I haven't washed my hair in four days. And it's literally, I could stick it to my head in whatever shape I want. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Aaron said it looked like a fucking, some middle aged comb over, but it's like in the oh, front. God. I like now that there's like a little wisp on top of it. Oh, it's great. <laughs> And so then we were talking about, like, we were pretending like Nicole was a used car salesman. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll be, yeah, like, oh, I, you're shopping for a car today? How can I help? And then Aaron's like, oh, I'll be right back. I got to go take a dump. And then we were just talking about how people who say that they have to go take a dump or dumps or whatever are just, that's, man. It's how so... Some, how, have yeah. some respect for yourself. <laughs> it's so crude. We talk about farts and periods and everything on this podcast so much, but like that is something that is so gross to me. And I think it's because somebody just describing a uh, shit they're taking as a dump. Yeah. Like yeah. I just took, oh, I wouldn't go in there. I just took a massive <sighs> dump. And I'm like, oh, God. But it, I think like, that- you can talk about shitting and be classy about it motherfucker <laughs> yeah you could say i just used the restroom it's a little stinky you don't have to be like i just took the fucking world's grossest dump <laughs> i forgot a <ate> corn <laughs> i don't know uh, oh there's some chia seeds in there something's uh, happening i don't know come on man um yeah it's because these kids used to come to our house like with their parents and like like they were like family friends and legit one of oh, them was like some some people just like, come use your bathroom like random off the street they weren't fucking random but they basically just came there to use our bathroom oh my god <laughs> like, i mean they traveled from another state so they would usually stay for just a little to use while your bathroom. Well, yeah <laughs> but kidding. think of like all the snacks you eat on a road trip and how that builds up Woof. and then they'd yeah. be like i gotta use the bathroom and they were like I don't even think I was a teenager yet and legit and the kid was my age like the the older boy was my age and my dad would get so mad because he'd clog the toilet every time they visited Jesus. and he's like he's a child it was you know crazy. I think it I think like you just some people don't uh they just use too much toilet paper maybe maybe and or he it, was taking fucking giant dumps I don't <laughs> like maybe but like Dude, you gotta you gotta like do a courtesy flush. Yeah, yeah, so that yeah, you yeah. Don't clog the toilet. Yeah. I oh, don't know. Oh well, God. That's a rough time. Yeah. Well, the hair is really still. I'm gonna leave going it there. Strong. Please take a picture of it so that you can. Okay. I'm gonna take a let the people right now. know. I'm gonna yeah. take a picture right now. Yeah. Oh God. It's it's rough. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I gotta do one that's like, hang on. It doesn't look that bad up close. No, it does. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it does. Oh, no, I see it. it the, I'm amazed that it's like sticking to my forehead. To your head. Yeah. It's great. Oh, Lord. Well, um, any business this week? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have any. Do you? No. Nope. Still mailing up magnets oh hell ordering. yeah i saw so, one in the group someone posted a picture of it i know i need to uh i need to get him out a little faster i like get an order and then like 
I just like have to get my ass in gear. But yeah, it's uh people are ordering them, so they're very cool. Oh my um, god. Get yours on the website today along with a t shirt maybe or a sticker. That's the only business I have, I guess. So fun. I mailed out some thank yous to our patrons. It took two weeks, but I did it. Uh, okay. It's just hard because two of them went to Canada. So then I had to go to the post office and like get special posting. Oh, mm-hmm. Because I don't know how many stamps. It's like use three stamps. I'm like, but I don't know if it'll get there. Internet. Yeah. You know, so. But yeah, look at us taking care of business. Taking care of business. Every day. Um, so, yeah, anything fucked up for you this week? No. Um, I – no, I don't think so, but uh, I did just watch – oh, my God. Can I just, like, take a moment to talk about some, like, fun things? Or do yes, you have a course. fucked up thing? Do you have a fucked up thing? Mine's just – mine really fucked up. And oh. I'm sad. I'm, it's not something I'm sad. It's just stupid, but – Oh, really? Do you want to do yours first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay, um, go. It's stupid, but um, yo, I yesterday I was shopping at Trader Joe's mm-hmm. and I got a couple things, and I like can never carry that much stuff mm-hmm. because like I don't have a car. Yeah, and I like was wa- I it's a, kind of a far walk from my house, so I like brought the stroller with the intention of like throwing a bunch of shit underneath. Yeah, which is the cool thing about a stroller. So, and it was so nice out, and I was like in such a happy mood. And I, like, finished my shopping, and I had bought a six-pack of beer, uh-huh. and I fucking forgot it at <gasps> Trader Joe's. Ew. And I, like, got, like, halfway home and realized it. I was so fucking pissed. Did and you I'm go still back mad for it? it? No. Because uh, then Jack started crying, and I was just like, fuck, I got to get home. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I had to pee, and I was just like, I was <sighs> just like, the whole way home, I was just like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. <laughs> It's like a 10 bucks, you know, down the drain. Fuck. God damn it. And fucking God good beer. It. Yeah, and it was a good beer. And I was like psyched to drink it. And it was like a nice, beautiful spring day. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put one in the freezer. And then I'm going to drink it on the stoop. And then, oh, nope. Nope. <sighs> so I'm still upset about it. I'm sorry. That yeah. sucks. I know. It's just stupid. Yeah. And it's not a big deal, but. No, but it's I like think. annoying when that happens. I don't, yeah. and yeah. I just feel I, I feel like I was so just you know I was just distracted and like trying to fit everything underneath and like I don't know I don't yeah. know what happened. Oh God, fucking shit! God fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you should just uh, call one of those delivery services and get yourself some beer right now. Well, I have beer. It's oh, just oh. like, I mean, it's just like cheap beer, but yeah, I wanted this. You like, wanted to treat yourself. I wanted to treat myself. Yeah, and, I get it. Uh, I get it. You know. Hmm. God damn it. Oh. oh well. Say la vie. Say la vie. Um, uh, did you watch Drag Me Down the Aisle? Mm-mm. Dude. I need to watch it. I can't Holy wait. Holy oh fuck. Do you guys, there's so much good TV right now in literally a matter of today because Queer, Queer Eye, Eye season three came out. Did you watch it? I already watched no. an episode. I made Pete watch it. Did you cry? N- almost. It was a very good one. It was very sweet. The first one. Okay. Um, also, I just love them all so much, but fucking, yeah. oh, I was hoping you would watch it so we could laugh about uh, what Anthony suggested <laughs> that the woman make with his next, zucchini from her garden. Next episode. Oh, my God. I was cry laughing. It's. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Can I just tell you or is it going to spoil it? No, tell me. I can't Oh, wait. my God. He's like. Oh, because this lady grows, like, really nice stuff in her garden. And he's like, oh, zucchini, like, you could do so much with this. Like, you could even just, like, slice it really thin on a plate with a little olive oil and salt. And she's like, I'd love to try that. <laughs> just not Fucking just raw. raw zucchini <laughs> on a plate with Bitch. olive oil and salt. That was Antony's, like, fucking recipe. I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh honey i love him he's so much useless but yeah he's very attractive so they're like you know what we'll keep him and around he, he's just like sweet so it's like <laughs> oh dear lord oh god oh. i was like was he even in this episode and then i remembered the fucking zucchini salad and i was like oh, yeah. meanwhile i see a fucking like 
article about a four day fucking overhaul that Bobby did on somebody's I know, house. I know. <laughs> oh my god, you wait till Same you see. Old shit. <laughs> wait till you see what he did to this house. It is breathtaking, and you're just like you don't see him the whole time because he's so busy, and they're all like yeah. fucking Karamo's taking her to park benches and having one on ones and fucking. <laughs> Tan's making her try on shirts and Bob meanwhile Bobby's back at the ranch literally the ranch like fucking just tearing walls down and fucking (laughs) rebuilding a house from scratch (sighs) I I all I just like I think it's enough that everybody acknowledges it you know yeah 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 also that's like his passion so it's like fine you know and I feel like when the people come home or whatever and see their place for the first time they are like genuinely overwhelmed and yeah that's when they do the most like emotion emotional like i don't know and antony's and, not, and antony's yeah. like here take this cube of cheese put a toothpick in it or do voila <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, God bless. I could literally talk for hours about the about the Fab Five. Me too. Maybe we should have started a Fab Five podcast. Um, That would be actually very fun. Yeah, I would love it. Um, I'm sure there's already some out there. Oh, what? What? What else? What else? What else? Okay, Aidy Bryant's show, Shrill. Shrill. Oh, yeah. So good. Just came out, I think, last night. But but also, Drag Me Down the Aisle. It's a TLC show. This is what what I wanted to talk about a little bit. It is not fucked up. It's so good. It's like four drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race, and they uh, go do like wedding makeovers like right before... The weddings are going to happen, which normally I don't like those shows because everybody is like, I don't know. It just seems like so fucking, they get like an influx of cash and it's some bougie person kind of being like, oh no, this is ugly, blah, blah, blah. It's like so sweet and it's, oh, good. they're really just like, hey, like you have to work with what you have, but like we're really good at that because- you know, yeah. we're, we're able to make stuff that doesn't cost a lot look really elegant and blah, blah, blah. So, it, and it's just so sweet and, like, I don't know. You will love it. And I definitely cried a lot. Okay. Um, I am 1,000% watching this yeah. uh, immediately. Because, like, I am always – I mean, I watch – drag race like yeah. every week and yeah. then I'm like this is like all that I want to watch I know this is fun it's really <laughs> okay. fun also I didn't like Thorgy from her season like too much because uh I think yeah she, she just like cried a lot and, and was just kind of like uh all over the place but actually like on this show I think she's I way chilled that. out I could see that yeah because yeah. it's not like oh she, competition she, and yeah, and she's like channeling her energy into something that's like creative yeah. and and cool. Yeah, I I could totally see that. And I love her, and she's great. And I love all the queens that are Alexis is on, and BB Zahara, yes. and oh. and uh, Juju. Uh huh. Well, I don't. I didn't know Juju, but uh, but now I do, and she's great. They're all great. It's just so good. You're gonna fucking love it, and you're gonna be like, I should have watched this already. Amazing. I, I can't wait should to watch have it. fucking dropped everything when Nicole texted me about it. <laughs> What was I thinking? Get out of (laughs) here. Baby, take care of yourself. You go to Trader Joe's and get the beer, baby. I got something to do. I got somewhere to be. Baby, go back to Trader Joe's and get mama her beer. (laughs) God damn it. God damn, baby. You live in front of the beer. You distracted me from my beers. (laughs) Oh my God. Uh, It truly is his fault, though. I mean, (laughs) yeah. I mean,. Uh, isn't everything his fault? He'll learn that in um in, oh. in therapy later. <laughs> Dude, JK. I was like I was scrolling through Twitter and somebody had this is like this every now and then like a weird like controversy pops up mm-hmm. about like some random bullshit and some dude had posted about how he's like yeah, no one will admit it. They'll just keep it to themselves, but most parents uh, definitely regret having their their children or whatever, or like something along those lines. Uh-huh. And of course, like hive mind of Twitter just fully went in on him, which you know, <gasps> yeah, yeah, he yeah, said a dumb fucking thing. Yeah, 
And he's like, yeah, my wife and I had one kid and decided to stop because it was too much. It was too much work. <laughs> like it was, cr- it was crazy. Like that's a paraphrasing, but it was just like, whoa, dude. Oh my don't God. say that shit out loud. And also definitely don't post it on the internet where it stays forever and where your, your kid, kid can possibly it read it later. Oh yeah. God. I think his kid's like 10 years old. So like they definitely understand and would the be internet. able to like absolutely – See, and he like claims that he's talked to his kid about it, and the kid he says the kid's like, "I understand." Like, <gasps> what? what? No, 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 oh no, no. My God, it's so weird. That kid is gonna have to sit through some major therapy. Like, they if they openly admit that they like regret having him. Oh my God. <sighs> dude it's weird and it's like what it's like do they actually regret it or were they just like this is hard one's fine do you know what i mean it's like right yeah because those like are you, very different right yeah it but i i think he said all of the above and it was like okay <gasps> oh my god that poor child do we need to have your kid taken away from you if it's so fucking hard you piece of shit like oh it is god. fucking hard i was i was like regretting it and like having horrible feelings and thoughts but yeah. i was going through postpartum depression yeah. and like <laughs> that shit is wild i don't Dude. know Dude. yeah but, oh my god yeah i heard people of- so stupid on twitter my god i heard about postpartum anxiety this week yeah it's also a thing and people don't talk about it yeah that's that's more along the lines of what i was dealing well like a mix yeah, a mix of it. Like mm. I had um, like intrusive thoughts, which is a symptom of like depression and um, like uh, just I was able to sleep and stuff still. But mm. like, you know, it was there was like a mixture of both. It was, the the anxiety was like I was I couldn't go outside because I was it was just so much work to do the simplest thing and so I would like get myself worked up and not be able to like I don't know get my brain on the right track to be able to just be like we're just doing this thing it's okay you know and were you like overwhelmed at the thought of being out and him like maybe getting fussy and then you're like yeah yeah I I, totally man dude and even though it was like I knew how to handle this stuff but it was just like the thought of it was just so overwhelming. And I oh, was yeah. Like, but there's no, like, you, know? you can't, you can't, like, logically, mm-hmm. like, change the way your brain thinks. Even though, you know, it's just, like, a chemical thing that's happening. So, yeah, it's, you just have to deal with it another way. So, yeah. yeah. And, you know, like I, like I said a couple episodes ago, I got on medication and, like, Zoloft is, a godsend, better wow. living through chemistry, indeed. And is that it their just tagline? Like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I mean that's just like in oh, general, like oh, okay. medication is just it's uh, it's just you know it, it's helpful for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, segue. Oh, good, love it. What we're talking about can be treated. This condition that we're about to talk about can be treated with pharmaceuticals and some other things oh which is necessary because this is one of the most fucked up things i have ever heard about dude it is uh, i just like don't understand it like i don't understand how that's possible but then there's lots of things that happen to people that i still don't understand so i'm not saying it it's i definitely think it's real but like, oh, yeah. but like, I just can't in my brain, like, like, r- like reconcile that this is something mm-hmm. that people like go through and it happens to them. It's wild. So we're talking today about the walking corpse syndrome or also known as the Cotard delusion, Dude. which is a very rare mental illness um, in which the affected person holds a delusional belief that they're already dead, do not exist, are putrefying, or have lost their blood or internal organs. What? <laughs> it is people walking around being like, no, I'm dead. It's a fucking, it's death becomes her. It yeah. is 100% like fucking Madeline Ashton 
fancy lady walking around thinking she's dead but she was yeah. dead and death becomes her but that's a difference that's the difference yeah yeah <laughs> and also the, the like death becomes her they have the like um the delusion that they like sometimes people believe that have this that they are going to live forever because they're like damned to roam the earth as a dead person or something dude dude <laughs> Uh, also, this was something that someone suggested in the Facebook group, I think, when mm-hmm. they were joining, right? Yes. This was uh, – somebody suggested this um, as, like, an answer to one of the, the three questions that we have people answer Amazing. before they join. Yeah. Uh, it is so crazy um, that this can happen to people. It is, it's terrifying. Um <clears throat> And it's been around for a while, um, but the first person to, like, identify it, uh, Jules Cotard, was uh, a neurologist in 1880 who uh, had a patient come in who was known as Mademoiselle X, who she just didn't believe that certain parts of her body existed. She claimed that she had no brain, no nerves, no chest, no stomach, and no intestines. And she also believed that she was eternal and would live forever, um, like she was she was damned. And so <laughs> I by thought this you log- said no neck, but I don't think you <laughs> did. But I was like, <laughs> I mean, that's so specific. I mean, it's specific anyway. But like no intestines, but yeah, like no wow. chest though. So why oh, not true. no neck? <laughs> true. <laughs> But it's like you can literally see your chest, so I don't know. That's I, what's crazy about this because it's like, dude, but you're like, if you have no brain or no intestines, how are you How are you like thinking and talking and pooping? Yeah, yeah. Well, I the regular logic goes out the window because there is actually something completely wrong with a portion of the brain that controls all that oh. uh, way of thinking. So, yeah. Um, but so this Mademoiselle X, because she reasoned, I don't have all these parts in my body, she didn't need to eat. Oh. And since she was going to live forever, it didn't matter. So she just didn't eat. And uh, she literally starved to death. It's just oh my God. so horrifyingly sad. Okay. Um, um, I would never stop <clears throat> eating, even if I was dead. <laughs> I don't... Like, that's another thing I don't understand. Like... Just because you're like, just because you think you're dead, I would still eat. Honestly, I'd eat more probably because. What do you have to what lose? Do I, I don't fucking care. I'm dead. It doesn't matter. Calories don't exist in death. And I'd be, I'd just like be eating all of the things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, this. Well, she was French. I feel like they're like, they have a different mindset. They yeah. eat to live, honestly. Do they? I don't know. I'm making a very sweeping generalization. Uh, I guess. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I've read fr- French people are different about their food and diets and stuff. So yeah, isn't there that book? Uh, French women don't get fat or some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I feel I'm like pretty sure that <laughs> everyone can that's get fat. A, everyone can get fat <laughs> if you just eat cheese and bread. But yeah, you know what? But whatever. Mm. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Fucking live your life. Live your life. What is fat? Um, even anyway. when you think you're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> especially if you think Dude, you're dead. I, I like your <laughs> I like your logic. Dude, man. that's what I'm saying. Like, honestly, I don't I'd be like, feed me everything. Uh, and all, it's like, you know, I would never eat. There's just some stuff that grosses me out. I would eat it. I'd be like, I don't care. You know what? Do I, I want to try blowfish, but you might die. But I'll, but I, I'm dead. But you're already dead, so. <laughs> but I'm already dead, so give, give me, give me. Give me, give me, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Cotard syndrome is actually not recognized uh, as a distinct disorder oh. by the DSM IVTR, a manual published by the American Psychiatric Association that outlines uh, the standard criteria for classifying mental disorders. However, <laughs> the syndrome has been associated with a number of neurological conditions, uh, 
most commonly appearing with severe depression and or psychosis. So I guess it's that's what a syndrome is and not a disorder. Oh, okay. So it's like part – it's like a the way like other disorders manifest. I think or something. So. something or like it something could like be that. a part of it. Okay. So Well, and it also it's so rare, so there's not a lot of like very like perfectly similar examples that fit into this like neat little box that yeah. I guess a disorder would. So, it has cuz it has like so many different uh like ways that it manifests and uh ways that it can come about, I guess. Yeah. So, that, okay. um huh. yeah. But it's rare, and that's what's kind of scary about it. So there's there's some studies done, but there's not enough, like, data to kind of get it all on in this, like I said, more of a neat box. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> but at any rate, the underlying cause isn't actually understood. Um, it's been, like I said, linked to bipolar disorder, depression, and or schizophrenia, mm. depending on the patient's age. Hmm. Um, so it's kind of scary. Like it, it it could start out as like normal depression symptoms, I think, um, yeah. which would cause somebody to be like withdrawn um, and it eventually evolves. It has like three stages, I guess, of just severity. It starts off, you know, pretty, pretty normal, not normal, but like along the lines of like depression, withdrawn attitude um thoughts of suicide and then it escalates into this kind of delusion of just literally thinking you don't exist or you're dead whoa yeah and it could get really severe god you don't exist yeah that's weird yeah i would definitely um, if someone was like i'm (laughs) You know how, like, kids say really fucked up things sometimes? Like, What do you mean? Like, like, like rude or, like... No, 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 like, creepy. You know how, like, kids yeah. will be like, I'm dead or whatever, and you're like, what? <laughs> and I, who knows where they hear this stuff, but, like, if an adult was saying that... Like, kids, you're like, okay, that's kind of funny, but also creepy, but also mm-hmm. funny. Um, but if an adult, like, if a friend was like, I'm dead, I'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, like, you're, red like, flag. you're going you're going through something, yeah, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So uh the symptoms are that like you believe you're dead. <laughs> you you might believe you're immortal. We've mentioned that. Um Yeah, that's not good. Cause no. you might be doing some freaky things and Okay, because this is the thing, they're not dead. <laughs> Did we say that already? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be clear, these people okay. are not dead. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, I think we said that with the Death Becomes Her reference. They're not dead, uh, like in that movie where they are dead. Um, and they're the living dead, similar to also Beetlejuice. There's a lot of movies that explore this, mm. um, but with Cotard syndrome, not dead. Uh, so the idea that they think they're immortal and would like do all these crazy things is very scary because like they could die. Yeah. Thinking that they were already dead and then they're like for real gone. Yeah. And it could, it's, I, I feel like it's mostly like self inflicted things. Yeah. That they're yeah, doing. yeah. Um, like the starving themselves or, or similarly harmful things to yeah. their own person i don't know if there's been there i think there have been cases where people have like murdered other people (gasps) but like i don't know i think those are very few and far between um because that could be part of something else i don't know that they blame the the psychosis on this syndrome per se it might just be a part of like a schizophrenic uh Uh. um like phase or something yeah yeah well when you think you have nothing to lose i want i binged that uh whole ricky gervais series on netflix oh really something about death i forget what Mm. it's called but anyway it's like about depression after his wife dies and he i he's very good at like being funny and being like super super dark and like emotional Uh and it's a very good i also cried at that uh I watched that a lot of it last night, but it's like when you, when you feel like you have nothing to lose, like 
that's what that whole show's about. He like does crazy things, but it's like, yeah, if I thought I was dead, I'd probably yeah. do some crazy shit that I wouldn't otherwise do alive. Yeah, like that your impulse response yeah. is like totally different. You're um, like fight or flight or like self preservation's gone. So you're yeah. just like whatevs. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Um, it's intense. Yeah. Um, you're, I guess another thing that happens is your brain stops recognizing faces. Dude. Which is like like face blindness, I think. Yeah. We should Maybe we should do an episode on that. That's wild. I know somebody who has that. <gasps> really? Yeah. Or they're just an asshole. like hi nice to meet you i'm so and so and you're like we've met literally 40 times yeah 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 Mm -hmm. you were in my wedding (laughs) yeah yeah exactly (laughs) Uh, oh man uh some people have visual hallucinations uh you can unintentionally kill yourself like mademoiselle x um you get obviously depressed Mm -hmm. um the world around you just doesn't make sense. Well, well, it's like fucking duh. Yeah. I mean, th- and some of these like are things that happen in the early stages. Mm-mm. And then it gets progressively like, you know, like you become depressed. Uh, you become a hypochondriac. That's one of the first s- symptoms. Um, wow. That which is wild to me because I thought uh, uh, I thought you became a hypochondriac after you were de- thought you were dead. And I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't i i think it's like it's like in the lead up it's like you're you're like you start obsessing over things happening in your body and you're like oh my intestines stop working they're rotting out of my body or something like that and then then you're like oh i'm dead you know like it's it's stuff like that and then it, it just gradually the delusion increases so i could see that i could i like the putrefication thing like Mm -hmm. i would if i thought i was dead i would be scared parts were gonna fall off yeah yeah like uh santa clarita diet have you watched that no is it good it's really good it's funny uh it's cute um drew barrymore is just a darling yeah i Um, love her and i love timothy oliphant so i know i should watch it yeah they're really good together it's funny did you ever watch justified no, dude. I, heard it was I really think good. you and DJ would really like it. I, Maybe add that to your to your like cue thing. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's obviously, and you become withdrawn from people. I think I already said that. So there's just like a lot of stuff happening. Um, yeah, and I th- and you want to hang know. out with dead people. Yeah, yeah. Some people like hang out in graveyards and shit because they're like, this is where I belong. These are my people. <laughs> These are my people. <laughs> So it's like not just like goth emo people. <laughs> it's like people actually think they're dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. Um, and there's been some really, really fucking crazy cases like Dude. that have happened through time. Um, the first actual, I think, recorded instance of this happened like 100 years before it was actually named by Cotard. Dude. It's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, all of this is a little funny. I mean, it's fucked up. It's horrifying. <laughs> it's horrifying. It's uh, it's horrifying not only for the person going through it, but like for their loved ones. Mm-hmm. Because if someone you loved thought they were dead I, and they were just like being reckless, like you'd be very scared for them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and you're like, okay, you're you're having like a an episode of some sort that is not, you know, you're you're having a mental mental illness like is happening right now. Like this is not not what what's real. Like you have to get help. Um it would be really scary. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but the the first instance of this happened in like the 1700s and this woman, this like old woman like was doing something in her kitchen or something. She felt like a breeze, a cold breeze, and then half of her body went dead or limp or whatever. Like she obviously probably had a small stroke or something. Oh, yeah, true. (laughs) Okay, right. (laughs) And then she just from then on just believed she was dead. And she 
wanted her family to like wrap her up in her burial shroud and put her in a coffin. And she like argued with her family for days, I guess. And they finally were just like, all right, fine. Well, you're dead. We'll put you in the coffin. It's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and they put it, they just, they put her in her burial clothes and put her in a coffin. And I, and she was still like alive. Yell- she was still alive, obviously. <gasps> But they were like humoring her, and then she was like, "I don't like the way this dress." Is on me. <laughs> she was still being a total mom. Yeah, she was like, "This isn't the one I asked for. I wanted my blue lace or some bullshit, you know." And they're like, "Okay, mom." <laughs> The plates don't go next to those bowls. God, do I have to come back to life and do everything myself? I told you to unload the dishwasher. <laughs> God damn it, I guess I do have to do everything myself even when I'm dead. Turn down the music. What do you think? I'm dead. I'm trying to get some sleep. Oh, I am dead. I'm, I mean, I, I'm dead. I'm just, you know, <laughs> still still here. Still oh, annoyed. Oh, God. So, yeah, they, like, literally let her hang out in the coffin. And she finally, like, just fell asleep. And they're like, all right, let's, uh, let's get the doctor in here trying to figure <laughs> out what to do. And they gave her, they gave her some, this like mixture of ground up precious stones and opium. Oh. Which, that sounds delightful. I would like to try some. Leave the stones out. You don't need the precious stones in there probably. I feel like that's like, you know, maybe some like goop level fucking drugs. I was going to say, that's like some uh, real, I don't know. Camping in a yurt outside of Joshua Tree, <laughs> wearing all white, like under a new moon type thing. Yeah, it sounds sounds kind of fun. Uh, but well, they gave her that, and she like kind of snapped back to normal. Mm. Uh, and then they just like had to keep doing it every other month, I guess, because she <laughs> st- <laughs> she still like was having having a hard time. She was still thinking she was dead. Or maybe so. she she would like really enjoyed it, and she's like, "Yeah, my yeah, I'm yeah, dead I'm dead again. I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> hey, uh, the- I'm dead. Where are those opiates? <laughs> give me, give me my drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need my smelling salts. <laughs> Fainting couch. Yeah, I need was- my fucking. She just did a death drop like a drag queen, and then they run <laughs> over with her opiates. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord uh, um yeah so that was the first instance of this though which i thought was pretty funny yeah that's good yeah let's see any other crazy stories that you read oh just well there was one that uh in in 1996 so like way after like cotard and after like the first thing there was a Scottish man who was in a motorcycle accident and thought he died in it. Like, oh shit, he didn't. But he like came, he was in an accident. He but was he in didn't an accident die. and it was bad. And like yeah. he like recovered, but like during his recovery, he like thought he was dead. Excuse me. And um, anyway, he like uh, he eventually like kind of just came to terms with it, like. He was like, okay, maybe I didn't die, but like, or or he's like, maybe I'm alive now, but like, I think I died. But then, but then he moved to South, uh, South Africa with his mom and it was so hot there. He just kept telling people like, this is hell. <laughs> so then he thought he went to hell. Then and he really was like, it came back and he's like, I am dead. Yeah. yeah I'm he's in like, hell. I'm for sure dead. Uh, this <laughs> is hell. It's the so weather fucking was so hot. Because he's like a Scotsman, like from like the fucking north. And then he goes down south where it's like so hot. And oh it's, he God. just like couldn't stand it. But oh, dear. Who knows? Uh, and then in 2006, a 53 year old woman in New York complained to her family that she had been dead so long, she was smelling like putrid and like she smelled of rotting flesh woof like she couldn't stand the smell of her own rotting flesh and everyone's like whoa you smell fine and um so she's like take me to the she she was like just take me to the morgue so i can be with the other deads and <laughs> they did the other deads yeah and they and then they did um 
take her to the hospital, but not the morgue. They took her to the psychiatric hospital because they were yeah. like, something is happening. Um, and then she just was there for a while and she got better. So, but that's, Dude. that's gross to me. Like if you, if you're like, think you like, is that also a stroke? Cause you're like smelling gross things, you know? I, I like, think it's a, I think it's a olfactory, uh, hallucination. Cause whoa. you know, you could have auditory, you could have visual and I think you could have like all like scent related hallucinations. Dude, which, that- like where you think you're smelling something. Mm-hmm. I get it. So, sometimes sometimes when you like talk about a really gross fart or like or a really <laughs> gross smell, you know that you like remember, I could smell uh-huh. it again and I gag. Whoa. Do you know what I mean? Like if someone's yeah. like, oh, remember that time, whatever, we like went to the sewage plant. I don't know. That's not real. Yeah. But but then you're like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it, it's. The way your brain works with with uh, scent is pretty fucking wild. It's um, wild. Yeah. So this woman, she was like having a pretty severe case of it. It sounds like. Yeah, she if thought she having... was like rotting. Ugh, it's Ew. awful. Oh my god, I I still don't think I've ever smelled death. Uh, you probably have at some point and know what that it was that. Oh really? Like you've smelled a dead animal, right? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I can't. I'm like thinking about it and like oh, no. doing the oh, thing no. where you like oh, no. remember the smell and it's so gross. <gasps> oh no! Ugh. I feel like I must not have if I can't like conjure it or maybe mm. I blocked it out. There was a time when uh, we had a hole in the wall of one of our bedrooms, uh, my parents' house, and like birds would like oh, you know no. fly in there and like they'd do their little nests in there. But I think one time a squirrel got in there and couldn't get out and it died in the wall and it smelled so fucking bad. Did you hear it when it was trapped in there? Yeah. Oh, like scratching and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, It was my brother's room at the time. So I was like, "Mm, oh, sucks, dude. Sucks, dude. (laughs) Sorry, dude. Uh, But, and then there was another time when uh, my dog got in a fight with a raccoon and... (gasps) killed it underneath <gasps> our deck oh, God. well yeah she's a fucking crazy bitch man <gasps> she like she beast moded on this fucking oh raccoon because raccoons are scary when they get and they can have rabies too yeah so. but she didn't give a shit she just like broke its leg and it died <gasps> oh but my we God. didn't know yeah, yeah and yeah. it died and my dad had to crawl under the deck oh, and get this dead no. raccoon out and it smelled so bad it was like wafting up from oh. underneath the floorboards was it summer yeah i think so that's bad yeah Yeah. oh (sighs) the worst we had i think was when we had squirrels in our at attic or something at our house and they had like shit in there and then it got to be summertime and we could smell it and then we had to like get it boarded up so they could stop going in there you know yeah yeah because our house just smelled like squirrel shit (laughs) woof It could have been a dead squirrel, too. You never it could know. have been dead, yeah, but I, yeah, maybe. Just I don't, a real interesting bouquet of smells. I don't, I just remember it smelling earthy. I, it didn't yeah. like smell bad, but yeah. Yeah, probably just poop. Yeah. Uh, well, ugh, I feel kind of nauseous now that I'm thinking about the smell of death and decay. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, well, there's one more story. Um, which everyone can watch. We can post the link. Oh, but that- it's so good, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's an episode of... Have you guys ever watched Untold Stories of the ER? I bet. I think it's on TLC, right? I bet they have. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on TLC. I bet. I, I've seen, like, clips of it online. I don't, like, watch oh, the whole... I've watched... Really? I've watched many episodes of it. It's so good. Oh, my God. Wild. But they do reenactments <sighs> of, like, the cases that come in the hospital. And they have, like, the real doctors in the, like, episode, okay. like, explaining what happened. And then That's they have the them in the reenactment. <laughs> That's the problem. We've identified the problem. So now we fix it. Like, do not use the actual doctors in your acting. I think that the doctor in this case of this story about somebody who came no. in presenting with no. a case of Cotard syndrome. What are you going to say? 
I was going to say, I think all the other actors in this were terrible, too. Oh, oh my God. I thought you were going to say he was good in it. And I was no, like, he wasn't do good. not. Do not. By no means. <laughs> but he wasn't, uh, shall we say, elevated by any of the other uh, extras that were in this Dude. reenactment. Dude, do you think they hired bad actors to make him On look purpose? better? Yeah. Do you think he's like, hey, I'm not really good. And they're like, we know. And he was like, OK, so what are we going to do about it? And they're like, we'll yeah. get bad actors. Yeah. I-, I don't think they were like bad, bad. They're- I also think, though, maybe they used actual his actual staff. Maybe. How was like everyone stuff? so flat? Like, well, it's like when you when you go to the actual hospital, like that's how like I would expect a doctor to react. You know, I don't expect the doctor to react like they're in ER. Right, right. No, you no, know? I see what you're saying. Yeah. That was the only scene that was believable where he went in when he, and she he's was like, like flatlining. Ordering all the tests and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I was like, but, oh, okay, this seems, he seems comfortable <laughs> doing this. But everything else is like, is he a human? Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking friend that brings in her her friend that has Cot- Cotard syndrome. Yeah. She's just like, I don't know what happened. I don't hardly know her. She was a friend from high school who got in touch with me and then she started acting weird. And it's just like, what is happening? This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Also, the girl when they brought her in, was, like, super gothed up. Like, oh, yeah. They made her look, like, super goth, and she's like, I'm dead. It was, like, <laughs> so rude to goths. It was rude. It's, like, and then when she was, like, quote, unquote, better after, like, yeah. her episode or whatever, she, like, was no longer goth. It was, yeah. like, wow, the visual <laughs> effects on this are wild. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I guess I'm not dead, so I won't be goth anymore. Yeah, I have no reason to be. I'm alive. Yeah. It's just like, oh, God. Uh, it, can I give you a hug? <laughs> so dumb. Anyway, everyone watch it. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. Untold Stories of the ER. Mm-hmm. God bless. They ain't winning no goddamn Daytime Emmy Awards. No. No Golden no, no, no. Globes over there. <laughs> uh, they. I don't even think they'd earn a Razzie. It's like no one's but even... The saving grace of it, though, is that, like, those are true stories and, like, it's mm-hmm. interesting content that, like, they're presenting. It's just done in such a cheeseball way that it's fantastic. Dude, I think I'm going to try an audition for that show. Uh, Dude, they, you totally should. They should use, like, because why not? I mean, yeah. if those people could get on it, yeah, anyone like, can. <laughs> it's like a rung below Law & Order SVU. Yeah. Mm, maybe a couple rungs. <laughs> 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 At least they have Dick Wolf. Yeah, I don't, that's true. I mean, there's, like, real people involved. It's like, and fucking yeah. Mariska. Uh, yeah, True. Uh, yeah, so there's like, there's a few other stories, but those are some of the main ones. Like there was a guy who he, one of the stories that I read was pretty wild. He, um, he tried to commit suicide by like bringing an elect, something (gasps) like electric into the bath with him and he survived, (gasps) which is horrifying. Oh my God. But after that, he thought he was dead. So he had the beginning stages where he was very depressed, suicidal, yeah. and then he, like, tried to end his life, and then he ended up surviving, but he didn't think that he did, and he um, went on to, like, have all these s- same symptoms of somebody who has Cotard syndrome, and he just, he thought he was dead, <gasps> so they ended up doing a bunch of tests on this guy. Uh, they they did a bunch of, um, like, uh, CT scans on his brain. Yeah. And they found that, so there's been a few areas of research done on people who have this, mm-hmm. but this guy specifically, uh, and a couple other people who've had it, they, when they did the CT scans, they observed, uh, that parts of their brain, uh, in the frontal and parietal cortex, mm-hmm. which is responsible for, for conscious awareness and our ability to create a sense of self uh, was, like, not online, basically. Oh. So it, like, the way it looked was, like, the brain activity in the frontal cortex was reminiscent of a brain under anesthesia, <gasps> asleep, or in an otherwise vegetative state. 
Whoa. So, yeah. So their brains are just like not completely online, it seems like, um, which wow. would make sense because if that part of your brain isn't working properly, you have you would you wouldn't have a sense of of, of existing because you wouldn't have a sense of self. You know? Yeah, yeah, because like when you go under anesthesia, you don't have dreams or anything. No, it's, it's like just, you cease to exist. Yeah, like I, that's the only thing I can I can liken it to is that like it's just you don't have any concept of of existence. I guess yeah. during that time, like I was under for eight hours straight, and I it could have been a snap of a finger. You yeah, know, it's like, it is. That's, that's what how, it feels like. Yeah, so. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, so, but it Whoa. makes sense though that that is somehow damaged at some point. Um, yeah, maybe when he attempted to commit suicide, it might have like done something. Yeah, or it could just be part of like maybe like a person had a stroke in that part of the brain, mm. it, like an untreated stroke in that part of the brain, like stopped working properly who knows so it, because it's so rare there's just like like i said at the beginning there's just not enough data to determine what's what's what so yeah. um but people can get treated for this and brought back to a you know state where they obviously know that they're alive and uh-huh. they can live normal lives or somewhat normal lives again yeah um but some really severe cases so there, people are treated for it with uh, like antidepressants and antipsychotics, mm-hmm. and uh, if it's very severe, though, they will use electroconvulsive therapy, aka electroshock <gasps> therapy. I had no idea they still used. Oh my god, that! <laughs> but apparently, they do. Dude. Yeah. So it only if it's very severe, though, which I don't know if I. I mean, it's just not really done anymore, and there's yeah. like. This is such a rare thing that they're like, well, I guess we'll try the electroshock shit. Dude, but it's like, did that ever work? I feel like it just always fucked people up more. I mean, I guess if somebody thinks they're dead, it's like, what do we have to lose? Yeah. <laughs> I guess, it's yeah, like you gotta like, sure. pull out the big guns or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, man. It's Wild. gnarly, though. It's crazy that uh, this is a thing. And I, I can't imagine being like... Not in modern times with modern medicine, experiencing this and just you would think that you're like cursed or something. Yeah. And I'm sure there's been other cases of it that hadn't been identified throughout the many, many centuries and millennia ever since human beings could experience something like this. Also, people might not like there might be people who aren't saying that they don't think they exist or don't or that they're dead because it's like right some of these people it's like they go to the hospital and tell the doctor they're dead it's like why are you even at the hospital if you're dead <laughs> I don't well, know mo- it's like I, like you know people might not be saying anything well and most of these people have family and support systems where they're they're being taken care of by their 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 people true but a lot of times, people that have this, uh, that have the Cotard syndrome, uh, withdraw completely from society, which also makes sense if you think you're, you're dead. Um, so people don't know what's going on and, um, then they just either, you know, die or you just don't hear from them again or whatever. So, or if they really take it to the extreme, they, they do end up, uh, you know, completing yeah. suicide so uh, it's really sad it's very scary yeah. um the brain is very very complex and powerful we've I, I think the episode that we did that kind of illustrated that for me was the uh the night, night terror, terror. Ep- yeah. yeah that was really scary yeah so, yeah i know oh if wild. your brain just isn't functioning properly and uh or even if it is it you can uh you can have some really major issues. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. One little thing off kilter can really Dude. cause a cascading amount of bad things to happen. <laughs> like this. 
Yes, yes, like a grease, a greasy strand of hair. Oh my god, dude, it's so funny. It's sticking to your head so good. I know. Um, all right. Do you got anything else on this one? No, I just think it's wild. It just uh, it made me really want to watch Death Becomes Her. Of course. Um, and yeah, I just wow. It's yeah, I just it's you could tell you you could tell that by the time someone thinks they're dead, like they've been severely depressed for a long time. I feel like mm-hmm, like it's mm-hmm. it's like oh okay they they they've withdrawn so much they don't see like like the life in themselves or something i don't know Mm -hmm. it's like oh and then they feel like they can't identify with other people who don't feel the same way as them and it's just like a really deep thing so it's a bummer man well yeah that's all i got yeah don't just uh stay alive stay stay up my friends Mm -hmm. Uh, (laughs) my dudes yeah uh i don't know if you guys follow us on social meds, but we don't do much. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to call myself out on this one and say <laughs> it's been a while since I posted uh, an Instagram, but hopefully by now I will have. Fuck. Yeah. Dude, fucking. I, the Facebook group was down this last week because all of Twitter and Instagram, or all of Facebook and Instagram was down. So I went on Twitter and I tweeted one thing and it was just like, do you miss the Facebook group? <laughs> <laughs> they're just collecting all of our data over at facebook yeah. no big deal NBD. don't worry about it it's yeah. fine um yeah but um i'll post something cute to like make up for it kill so. kill 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 <laughs> all um, right follow us on social means oh yeah uh, at, at dtfu podcast mm-hmm. everywhere send us an email at dtfu podcast uh, at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah. We, or we t- go, oh my God, your curl. <laughs> Jeez, you guys have got to see what Nicole's doing with her hair right now. Take a picture of that one, please. Okay. Um, go to our website, dtfupodcast.com. I don't want to post these. Please, God. <laughs> they're, they're so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to make you. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Be excellent. Uh, to yourself and each other yeah um wash your hair (laughs) wash your hair (laughs) nicole wash your hair (laughs) at least put some fucking dry shampoo in that shit (laughs) just kidding you're beautiful oh thanks love you but also i I smell so i'm in a shower (laughs) Mm -mm. (laughs) no i don't i don't smell i don't smell i've been showering I just that's ha- like the, I just the wear a shower cap. delusion. You do smell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't smell yourself. <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad this is a video chat. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't smell. I've been showering. I just wear a shower cap, like an old lady. I have a shower cap too. It's um, it's very cute. Mine's purple. <laughs> Mine's tie dye. <laughs> You it's fucking like, fish head. <laughs> I, I, know. I look like such an asshole when I put it on. I don't. I don't leave my bathroom with it on. I don't want Pete to see me in it. It's like I'm not embarrassed by a lot in front of Pete, except the shower cap. <laughs> I. Just, it's like a turban, and it and it's like supposed to be cute, but like it's, it's just not. not. Yeah, yeah no. it's still a shower cap. Oh my so. god, dude! All right, all right. Um, yep, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.